Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and the Beast is here. Chevrolet's Beast. We have the 2023 Chevy Silverado ZR2 Bison. This thing is going to be awesome. Um, I'm a little excited because I drove the Colorado Bison, and it's so good. It's so crazy how good this is. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about the Chevy Silverado ZR2 and Bison, and I'm getting a little excited. There's a new 3-liter inline-6 diesel engine. Been updated. I'm gonna give you some details on that as well because they kind of put together the same press release. But uh, let's go to the website. So I don't have any video of the ZR2 Bison Serato, but well, I got some photos and it looks pretty cool in the photos. But I do have a special treat for you. I have some video of the Colorado doing something pretty insane that you may or may not have seen. So let's go to the website. So we have wait, that's a Chevy. Yeah, that's my headline currently. Joe's gonna edit this a little bit, so I'm sure it's gonna get changed. Managing editor Joe, you know, the follow channel, you know what's going on here. So we have the Silverado ZR2 Bison. Basically, what they did was they worked with American Expedition Vehicles, AEV. Apparently, get pizza out too. Come on, <laughs> scroll down. Uh, so what you're going to do is take the Silverado ZR2 with the Multimatic DSSV shocks. You have the front rear e-locker. E and you can take that kind of gear, the 6.2 liter V8 as well, 10-speed transmission. Boom, you're going to add new bumpers. You're going to add new um, boron steel skid plates. There's five of them. This is boron steel is actually going to be lighter than regular cold stamp steel and like three times stronger. So let's get to some pictures. I'll keep talking. You guys look at the pictures. So this is the ZR2 Bison. We can see the front bumper. Now it's actually a three piece front bumper. And what it's designed to do is it has a winch capable inside of it. I don't know why I'm doing interior photos next, but it's winch capable inside. And then they have the flow tie. That's their, their uh, logo. It actually is cut out, so airflow goes in through the engine where airflow is always a good thing. These are especially AEV 18-inch tire or wheels with 33-inch uh, off-road terrain tires in Michelin. Uh, AEV, we have the special badging on the headrest, as you can see there, and on the all-weather floor mats. So you have the AEV Bison, plus you have the ZR2. There's just lots of coolness there. Uh, there's your other interior there as well. Looks pretty sweet to me. Um, and then there's your new interior on the Silverado. You've seen this, this videos are done. Um, I'm gonna tell you what I'm driving a Silverado High Country right now, and that interior just rocks. So much better. Okay, on the rear we can see that the rear bumper has been redone a little bit. It's now it's a now stamped steel, and so it's meant to take a beating, meant to get beat up. Um, it, this has the multi flex tailgate, the one that comes out a couple different ways, and some cool. I like how they blacked out the badge. Plus they blacked out the top a little bit. They can really stand out. Um, there is the front skid plates. Again, we have skid plates over the fuel tank, over the uh, um, transfer cases, the front end. There's a total of five, they said. And there is that is the boron steel. It should be lighter than cold stamp steel, and it's going to be like three times, three, three and a half times stronger. Um, it's pretty cool material. I've seen actually uh, AEV President Dave does a video where he's showing it off, and it's pretty crazy to see the difference between that and regular steel. Um, something he's beat it up. And he's lived through it, and it works out pretty well. There's your side profile. Not much change in there, except for there's supposed to be, I don't know what's on that photo, supposed to be a side rail for keeping stuff off the body. That's the way I read the press release. Um, again, we have cutouts there for vertical. They are vertical to hooks, and they're color matched. And so you can see them on the outside of that front end. And so, yeah, it's all bolted together, so you're going to get out of trouble. No problem. There you go. A little bit closer view of the horizontal mounted Tow hooks, AEV there as well, and there's that front end. I'm just telling you, I, I'm geeking out over this because I think it just looks pretty amazing. And you can see we're on that rear bump where they took the step out. There's usually a step built in there, and a lot of times it happens you're off-roading, that step actually gets crunched because you hit a rock or something. And I've seen them a lot do this where they make it all hard steel. That way it doesn't get crunched. Okay, and then there's the special 18-inch tires with 33-inch uh, Goodyear wheels, or 18-inch wheels, 33-inch tires. So... Let me make sure I nailed everything on this. Uh, yeah, 18 inch AEV wheels wrapped with 33 inch Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tires, steel rocker panel, the skid plates of the front rear differential transfer case and fuel tank about those as well. So uh, you get the standard 6.2 liter. Now this is supposed to come out sometime in the uh, 2023 model year. Uh, so early production 2023, MSRP of $78,490. That includes destination. But wait! There's more. There's also the new 2023 Silverado 3-liter Duramax diesel 
LZ0 has been revealed. Now, this one's pretty cool. So this is what the LM2 was the prior generation. Came out like in 2019, I think it was. First drive was like 2020, excuse me. And so it's kind of hard to find a few of these, but this is a three liter inline six diesel. And it is really good. I've driven it many different times. Uh, turbocharged, it makes, so they've made improvements. So now we had 460 foot pounds of torque. Now we have 490 foot pounds of torque, 7.6% increase. Also the horsepower went from 277 to now 305 horsepower, which doesn't matter so much of the diesel or about the torque and offline stuff. And it is, I can't wait to drive this. Uh, they're able to, to make the improvements using new steel pistons, the revised combustion bowl, retuned turbo compressor, new fuel injectors, and improved temperature control features. There was always a story when it first, the engine first came out, people thought it was overheating a lot. And they actually had put a little memo in the owner's manual to say, no, it actually has a higher temperature and all this back and forth. So I think that they're going to improve that. It's going to be available right now on the 2023 Chevy Silverado trims, Custom Trail Boss, LT, RST, LT Trail Boss, LTZ, and High Country. It's going to have the same 10-speed automatic transmission they're used currently. Uh, we don't know yet on GMC Sierra trims. We don't know yet about Tahoe, Yukon, Escalade. And you may have noticed as well, there's no ZR2 in that list. Um, we've had conversations with them a lot about how the overall design of the truck and the cooling lines like that, they couldn't make the diesel work. I'm, I'm working on it. I have a I have an interview request in to John Barta, who is the assistant uh, General Motors engine chief engineer or something like that for this engine. A great guy, yeah, a fan of the channel, really good guy. So I'm hoping to get him on camera to explain what they've done, see if they've made some of those changes. You remember that long crank, slow start situation, drive transmission, change of belt. There's a lot of weird stuff going on the engine. I think there's been more improvements than they list in the press release. I got to, I don't know, I got a hunch, hunch, <laughs> but we'll find out. So they're also talking about, I put in some numbers about mile per gallon, 31 highway for two wheel drives, 23 city, 26 mile per gallon combined. You may have noticed something that I recently had a trail boss version of this. And I'm going to do that in a minute. But when you go four wheel drive, you go from 31 to 26 and 22, 23. Um, but for the off road model of the trail boss, when you put those bigger off road tires, guess what? It sucks down the fuel. Hello. Um, so it's definitely more dropping down to 23 city, 23 highway and 20 city. So um, I think I clean up a little bit. This is all pre-draft stuff. So there's uh, changes coming to that. I, I expect those numbers to be the same. I don't expect any improvements in fuel economy, although it'd be a little bit more would be nice. They didn't mention it. So it tells me it's not something there. But that's what we have for that. Now, I'm hoping they help the same price point. The price point was $995 and it was exceptional value for what you got fuel economy plus towing all kind of stuff going on so speaking of how cool it is you may have missed this video because only fifteen thousand people watched it shame on you guys uh because it's just really cool so i was in texas doing this drive of the chevy colorado zr2 bison now this is i'm gonna give you a little backstory before i hit playing this video but we are in this off-road park and i'm at the base of this hill and they had told us to go left you can see kind of left see that little cut up the left that past those trees that was a very, uh, let's say, driving Miss Daisy course. And they GM had come out. They pre-did the course. They always do this. So GM was there. Ford was there. Ram was there. What they do is they go and they pre-scout the course. They want to make sure they, it's challenging enough for the truck, but not anything gets too damaged. Because they still got to use these in marketing and send around the country as a journalist so they can sell to review. So what they did was they said, this is off limits. So I'm at the basis hill with an engineer. And I said, hey, I said, what if you drove it? And he looks at me and he's like, huh. What if I drove it? I said, yeah, what if you drove it and I got out and filmed it? And he was like, huh, that'll work. So I ran up these rocks and he started driving up the hill. I'll make sure I get the volume up all the way too. So this is him and you can hear the diesel. Now this bumper, see that bumper there? See the silver and the black? That's a similar three-piece bumper that the Silverado had. And I wish I had a better camera for this. So this is my apologies. This is new video, one of my first kind of, handful of videos i got a lot better but listen to that and keep in mind that is not the three liter inline six that's the 2.8 liter duramax on the colorado so the three liter is even better but i wanted to point out how he's like climbing along and yes this is my bad video work but there's a spot here in the video where he gets to the top and he basically puts it on the ledge here it is so he puts the whole front end with the skid plate on this ledge. Just watch this segment right now. So he gets it lined up, figures the wheels out, hits the diesel, get that torque, and then just. Let 
There you go. It just climbs up. So he wasn't a ledge before, but this is how it gets up. All right, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back for a second. Watch this. He gets right up and he just puts a whole front end lid. He's just, it's basically the boron steel is resting on these rocks. The whole front end is resting on those rocks. And that's enough power to get up the hill. So I was with. Uh, so with Todd here and yeah, the Todd. Chevy team. Yep. So that happened. That was a cool experience. So I'm hoping that you guys had seen that video. If you haven't, check it out. I'll put a link down below. Also, check out other videos over here. Website down below. Pickuptrucktalk.com. All the videos going live and all the stories go live there as well. Check it out because, well, it's cool stuff, man. It's really cool. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.